Good afternoon. This is our midweek hump day devotional. It's good to see you here. We're out, out on the island at Lake Montesian today, thinking a lot about water today. It's kind of overcast, and I'm thinking about the water cycle. I'm thinking about Psalm 65, 9. You visit the earth with wa and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide the people with grain, for so you have prepared it. You know, I remember how amazed I was when I got to wildlife school and started talking about science and systems and things of the earth. And for some reason, in, in all my schooling, I never even, I never really realized, I'm sure somebody taught me about it, that we only have so much water in this world. And we just keep cycling that water over and over and over and over again. So the same water that was here at creation is the same water that's here in this lake. The same water that they baptized Jesus with is probably the same water you had with your breakfast this morning, or you probably brushed your teeth in it. Same water that the dinosaurs had is the water that we have. It wasn't until I was in my late 20s in college that I kind of realized that, and that kind of stuck in my brain. I kind of had a revelation. It's kind of like I could have had a V8. The exact same water that people water ski on is the same water that, that you use for flush in your toilet. I mean, it's the same water and it just keeps cycling and cycling and cycling. See, the sun and the air work together to evaporate, to turn this water into gas. And the water gets up in the atmosphere and it cools. And just like the, the outside of a Coke bottle on a hot summer day, it condensates and starts sticking together. And pretty soon those water droplets stick so much together they get so heavy that it falls. And that's called precipitation. Winter time, it kind of gets circled around a little bit and it's a little colder, so it turns into snowflakes and maybe hail or maybe ice. That's how it works. When the water hits the earth, some of it runs off into lakes and some of it runs off into streams. Some of it goes down in the earth and is trapped in the earth, like the water in that spring over there by the monument. And uh, then it's in your wells and stuff like that. But the important thing about water is, it's, um, this whole system seems to be a self-regulating process. It just keeps cycling and cleansing itself and, and re, re, being reborn all the time. It's interesting. And it all happens without us doing anything. Usually without us even realizing it's happening. Perhaps that's why the entire system never really hit home for me when I was a kid. Water. Wow, that is actually what science uses to indicate if there's life on a planet or not. When they sent the Mars rover up there, they had a test to see if there was water in Mars because they knew if there was water, then there could be life because without water, there is no life. As a matter of fact, if we took the 70 plus percent of water that's in our bodies out of our bodies, we'd just be a handful of dust that would blow away in the wind. Water is very, very important. It's one of the most important things it is probably one of the three most important, four most important things on this earth. And water is important to us symbolically too. At church, the water means a lot of different things. But it mostly means rebirth and cleansing, baptism, things like that. Water flows from our eyes in great times of great joy and times of great sorrow. I saw a magazine article one time where this scientist was taking water droplets and he was freezing them on microscope slides. And on some of them, he set them off to the side and he said good things to them, like you're a pretty water droplet. Oh, you're such a good one. You're so beautiful. You're so this and that and the other. And the crystals that formed were perfectly symmetrical. They were gorgeous. They were, they were these beautiful ice crystals and each one was different, just gorgeous. And then he took some more slides. He did the same thing with them. Only he said things like, you're no good. You're worthless. You shouldn't even be on the planet. You're just evil, you're ugly, you're all, all the nasty things he could think of. And all those ice crystals were misshapen and misformed. And none of them were symmetrical. It's interesting. You know, essentially we're just big bags of water. Because if it wasn't for the water in our bodies, we would have no shape or structure. And as important as water is, we all need to take a lesson from it. You know, as important as water is, it always seeks the lowest place
to rest. May love flow down like water into your life and through your life into the lives of others. May you feel the bonds of moisture that connect us to all living things around us. And may your tears of joy be greater than those of sorrow. Amen. <laughs>